Uh, good morning. I'm pleased to present uh, our international research group uh, between the uh, University of Bologna and IITK Kampur about digital sociology. And um, we are applying from several research projects uh, at national and international level. And uh, we earned our first funding from the Bandos Tutua University of Bologna. And we are also applying to the Maichi International uh, Cooperation uh, project between Italy and India. Uh, the presentation will be run by me, Pia Giorgio degli Esposti, and uh, by Gilles Salasem uh, for the Indian side. Uh, our main objective is analyzing the collaborative use of platform and the use of digital media um, in, a, in a peculiar section when we are talking about the elder citizen. Our research is wider and we will take in consideration also other category and uh, age groups, uh, but uh, today we're gonna present only the elder citizen. And um, our presentation will be um, the description of an analysis made at, uh, in uh, urban neighborhood between Bologna and Calcutta. And uh, our sample group have been homogenized, homogenized by age, religion, wealth, digital literacy, and access to digital platforms. So for this study, uh, we had actually taken, uh, we were trying to understand uh, how the elderly use platforms. Um, uh, you know, what are their practices? Um, in particular, how do they, um, how do they lean on other people to actually um, uh, be able to make use of platforms? Uh, for the purposes of this particular presentation though, what we want to highlight uh, is the way in which uh, money is used in, you know, when trying to access these platforms. So usually uh, when you think of the, um, of platform society uh, or of digital money, uh, the figure of the elderly person is not really the one that comes to the forefront. Whereas in this presentation, uh, you know, we are really trying to look at what practices, uh, particularly with regard to money and platforms uh, are being adopted by the elderly in both the cities of Bologna and uh, Calcutta. Our sample group is a qualitative based sample group and uh, we run a research using ethnographic method and uh, we have interviewed around 80 elder citizen uh, from the Indian side and uh, 100 elder citizen on the Italian side trying to represent uh, the three characteristic of being uh, uh, old. So like uh, we have uh, defined the three category, the young old, so the people that are between 60 and 69 years of age, the classic old people like uh, 70 to 79 years of age, and the old, old people like um, those that are above 80 years of age. This slide uh, goes so, for me or you. Sorry, I, I think I can explain this. Uh, apologies. So we uh, uh, we try to look at the activity of uh, the uh, the elderly in different types of platforms, uh, and we've given a split of these different types here. Um, as you can see, you know, for instance, we have looked at the percentage of our Indian respondents who use social networking platforms, and we you know, which is ninety nine percent and Similarly, a very high percentage of uh, Italian respondents use social networking as well. So 100% of our respondents uh, reported that they do use uh, social networking. And what is very interesting, I mean, you can take a look at these categories, uh, particularly, you know, when it comes to e-commerce, food delivery, et cetera, we see very interesting figures here. Um, what is interesting here also is uh, the proportion of the respondents uh, in our sample, who used payment platforms. So as you can see, 19% of uh, the people that we observed and interviewed in India uh, use payment platforms. And similarly, on the Italian side, that accounts for 20%. Um, however, one thing we have to keep in mind is that monetary transactions and the use of digital money in particular can be observed uh, when people are, when these elderly are trying to access all of these different types of platforms. 
So when we are going to be talking about their practices, uh, we are referring to uh, their activity across these different platforms. You know, what have, been, what have they been doing for uh, money and monetary transactions across these various categories of platforms? So about the use of the platform, uh, um, first thing that, uh, first evidence that comes from um, our analysis and our ethnographics has been that COVID-19 and lockdown have, have been uh, an, uh, an enhancer, an accelerator of process, especially process of digitalization, because uh, this category of people tend to be both skeptical about digital payment and tend to be uh, off the grid talking about being connected on the internet uh, mostly but what happened because of the lockdown and because of the um, COVID-19 that uh, these people tend to be uh, dependent to platform to be in contact with uh, relatives to be in contact uh, with family members friends uh, to socialize but also to get access to primary resources such as fruit groceries or even non-food and that's in fact uh, from the Italian side, you can see that the e-commerce, both of food and uh, non-food, has been basically adopted. And uh, we can say that the lockdown and COVID-19 have been uh, the catalyzer of this process. And uh, there are also the adoption from the Italian side that is kind of interesting of time management platform, such as platforms that help you to book you the line uh, to the grocery store or stuff like that. From the Indian side, we can see that uh, uh, there are similarity and difference between uh, um, the Indian elder and the Italian elder. The main um, similarity is that uh, it has been enhanced the use of payment platform. And uh, basically, uh, the main difference is that um, the use of ride sharing platform that basically are completely non used in, uh, in Italy. Social networking has been enhanced both in Italy and India and mostly happen throughout um, Facebook and uh, WhatsApp. Mostly WhatsApp and Facebook is way more correct to say. Video conferencing, of course, it's another issue that has been enhanced and was already adopted in India and basically has been started to be adopted on the Italian side. And uh, it has been stable, the use of streaming platform and news platform from the Indian side and has been enhanced instead uh, on the Italian side. Uh, I, I just want to add something about uh, the, you know, the enhanced or the, the changes in the use of platforms in light of COVID. Uh, this data that we are presenting, it really comes from uh, 2020. So we are looking at uh, the sort of the first wave of COVID and the first set of national lockdowns that both India and Italy were experiencing at that time. Uh, and of course, I think uh, a future uh, project may actually uh, take a look at what has been happening to uh, the use of these platforms in the second uh, wave of COVID and also the second set of uh, lockdowns that both countries have seen. Because for instance, if you look at something like e-commerce or food delivery, um, you know, uh, there would have been specific rules that were followed in the first lockdown, which would have changed in the second lockdown. So I think it's a very interesting area for future research as well. I just want, wanted to point that out. Definitely. Uh, so uh, our primary argument is that when we look at uh, the monetary practices of the elderly, we see that um, both in India and Italy, people are using uh, cash extensively uh, when it comes to their uh, transactions uh, through these platforms or either to access these platforms where possible. Uh, however, uh, when it comes to the case of digital money uh, or digitalized money, we see that the elderly really engage in what we are calling collaborative use uh, to access platforms. Uh, and we actually, um, you know, in our presentation, we are going to be talking about three different types of collaborative use. Uh, so the first is use on behalf, which means that uh, someone that the elderly person is, colla uh, is collaborating with uh, uses a, a form of digital money. It could be a credit card. It could be, uh, you know, a bank account. It, you know, they make that transaction on their behalf. 
okay um the second uh, form of collaborative use is actually sharing uh, uh, you know use of platforms or digital money by sharing the digital device itself this is also a very interesting form of collaborative uh, use we found um and the third category would uh, also be the, the sort of sharing of common accounts between the elderly and the person who is assisting them uh, or you know by assisting we mean it could be a much more sort of you know um, one way process where the person is trying to teach the elderly person or it could be uh, that they work as a team to actually try to use digital money and try and access platforms um so we are really talking about a range of practices when it comes to the use of digital money uh by the elderly in both bologna and calcutta